Hello everyone, I am Vinay. I am 4th year student from CSE department. Today I am going to explain you about a project which I created using robotic process automation with the help of UiPath platform. And the project name is Social Media Automation using RPA. Before getting into the project, I want to explain what exactly robotic process automation is. Whenever anyone who doesn't know about robotic process automation, when they heard the word robotic process automation for the first time, the first image they will get in their mind is these physical robots. But exactly that is not right. In the robotic process automation, we deal with the robots which are not present physically. They are a set of programs and they are made with the tools like UiPath, Blue Prism and Automation Anywhere. RPA Future Scope as the demand for the RPA is growing day by day, many of the organizations investing in the RPA field. So there will be a large opportunities for the job in RPA field. And by the year 2025, the market impact of the RPA will be $9.0 billion. And the students who are not interested in heavy coding and doing more coding and still want to be in the software field, they can learn the RPA as it is a low code platform. It is easily understandable by the students and they can survive in the software market. If you want to share anything in social media applications, for example, in Facebook, if you want to share anything, we have to choose the image we have to share and then we have to write something to that post and then we will post it. And the same process will be repeated in other applications like Instagram, Twitter and LinkedIn. Here, I have to go each and every platform and share the same thing and the same process is occurring again and again. So the process is repetitive and time consuming. With the help of RPA, all the process can be made easily. I will show you the demonstration of social media automation. Now we are in UiPod Studio X for making the whole process simple. I divided the whole process into four steps. Step one is first we will open browser. So now we will open the browser and the step two is we will search for the social media site where we want to post. For opening the browser, we will have an activity called Use Browser, which is provided by the UiPath Studio X. And we can give the URL of the social media site where we want to post the image. Here I give facebook.com. And the third step is to choose what we want to post and we will give caption to that post. So first I will search for the facebook.com. And here I'll click this activity. For clicking, we will have an activity called click activity. So UiPath will provide an activity, click activity. With the help of that, the bot can click the UI element present on the website. So it's asking what's on your mind. We will type the caption for that image. For example, I have wave. Hi, hello, how are you? In UiPath, we have an activity called type into where bot can type the caption given by us into the caption field. Step 4 is after choosing the image and the caption, we have to upload it on social media. Now I will choose an image. So when we try to choose an image, it will show an other window. So for that, we have to use activity called use application activity. So it helps the bot to recognize that window. And now we can select any image. I want to choose this image. Now I can post. So it's posted. So we observe there are so many click activities and type into activities. For all that there are already pre-built activities in UiPath, we can make use of them. So now we will see what exactly happening in our project. The first step, step is input dialog. So input dialog is an activity which takes the input from the user and stores it in a variable. So in this input activity, we are taking the path of the image, what user want to post. And in the next activity, we are taking the caption of that image from the user and these two path and caption will be stored in two different variables. The path and the captions will be used here in this activity. We observed and window right. In this space, the bot will automatically type the address we gave at starting activity. So it's full of click and type into activities. Similarly, it will work for the LinkedIn. So I used another use browser activity. So I'm posting it separately. As you can see, same all the click activities, type into activities. And again, I used different activity for Instagram, use browser activity. And in that, I used click activity, use application activity. So now we will see how the bot will run exactly. First, I will choose an image to post. Recently, we fourth year students have published many survey papers for the purpose of our major project. And I would like to share that with my friends. 
in different social media platforms. So first I will copy the path of that image. Now I will run the bot. Now you can see the bot is asking for the path of the image I want to post. So I'm giving the path here. Then it is asking for caption to write something about the post. Now you can see the bot opened the browser first, then it opened the Facebook. You can see the bot wrote the caption we gave starting of the activity. You also can see that it is typing the path we gave in selecting the image and that's it. It posted the image into Facebook. After that it directly redirected into LinkedIn. Again it is posting the image. It is giving the caption and it's posted in LinkedIn and directly it came into Instagram. See it's selecting image from our computer. It's giving caption and then here you can observe last run is successful. Now we will see the output. Now you can see that the bot automatically posted the image. You can see it is in Facebook and also in Instagram. All these posts have been posted automatically by the bot. You can also observe it in the LinkedIn. Thank you.